uh, heating up the shop today. The winter has definitely come to Georgia. I'm going to cut this off so we can hear. But uh, it is really, really cold outside. But what I've been working on is a frame to to uh, to set the truck bed on. And uh, what I've done is I've took some 4 before 4s and I've notched them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw these together just like that. I'm going to put me some casters on the bottom. So this will be the bottom part of the frame. Now I've got some more 2 before 4s I've got to cut to come up. Uh, probably uh, at least, well, I, I really don't know right offhand. I think it's two foot, maybe a little more than two foot. All four corners. And then I'm going to take these tuba sixes and I'm going to wrap them with a tuba six. And the tuba six is going to be even with this. This is 34 inches wide, which is the width of the frame. So that four before it's going to come out to an inch and a half, inch and a half. Two by six, two by six, and casters to roll around on where I can work on this truck bed for my stepson's truck. I had to pour me a concrete patch because I had a big crack and hole in the floor here. And it ain't it ain't pretty, but it will work, I think. I can get these things to roll on it anyway. Uh, it would have been pure hell trying to roll it into that crack and out of that crack there. I mean, it's a couple of inches deep uh, so I went to uh, <clears throat> I went online Harbor Freight and ordered some casters and I'll get that box open so we can see what I'm dealing with and what I got is I got two fixed and two swivel and actually I bought four of each because I'm going to be making another one of these for the cab. So, it's a, looks like a, I think it's a five inch solid rubber uh, caster. And I think these are supposed to support up to 330 pounds a piece. And this is, this is the swivel one. The other will be fixed. You know, it'll be fixed in place and the front will swivel where you can, where it won't be rolling everywhere. And uh, I was going to get the, the, the uh, this ain't really, a, I don't guess it's, well, I guess it might be solid. I wanted the pneumatic, but I know that these cheap Chinese BAM pneumatic wheels, uh, the tires go flat. They will not hold air. The tubes are junk. So I went ahead and got the solid. I'm hoping they don't mash down too bad because uh, I'm gonna need to be able to roll it around to work on it. Uh, the bed's probably got the worst damage on that truck right uh, behind the passenger side wheel well. Uh, it's uh, dented pretty bad and I'm gonna get a uh, one of those stud welders and pull that dent. I'm hoping if not, I'm gonna have to cut it out and patch it. And so I'm gonna have to get another welder, regardless. Probably this welder just ain't up to ain't, it ain't up to my standards of quality. Uh, but notice the skid steer is is gone. Uh, I moved it to the other building. I'll be moving this uh, this engine hoist out of my way, and I'll be cleaning out this side over here to hopefully build a paint a temporary paint booth. Uh, so that is coming so today what I wanted to do is is get the rest of these uh, things framed up I was hoping to go ahead and get the bed bolts cut off but it's just windy and so I think I'm gonna wait till tomorrow it's supposed to be real cold again tomorrow and um, you know that truck's set out there for oh how long is it? I don't even remember it you have to look back on my video to see when we brought it home, but I'm, I'm guessing it's been here at least oh, a year and a half maybe, and it's been sitting there. So, you know, I don't like wasps, so I've been waiting on cold weather to be able to work on this thing.
so <laughs> yeah I didn't want to stick my head under it because I don't know what's built under it so it's getting cold weather now I think it was 23 this morning and the wind blowing it made it feel like zero outside but I did uh, get some stuff done with the skid steer um, this morning and uh, like I said, I got a new gas tank for it here in this box. Uh, got to get my daggum uh, hitch put on my Blue Silverado, my 93. That's been sitting here long enough. Got a winch mount to go on a trailer if I ever get enough steel to build it up where it'll actually fit over the top of the trailer bed. The winch is sitting over there in that box uh, behind those white boxes on my toolbox. So, I'd like to get all this cleaned out and get me some room in here to work. And uh, we're going to be starting on winter projects. And so stay tuned. And I'll show you how this is coming along. Um, <clears throat> what I've been doing, I was using my battery powered stuff, but the batteries are just dying so quick. So I'm using the skill saw and I'm just cutting the notches out. And uh, when I get ready to do the notches for the uprights, I'll make a little video on that. So here it is. All right, guys, I had a little hitch in my plan here. Uh, I ordered four swivels and four fixed. And they sent me four swivels and back ordered my fixed ones. So in order to just keep moving forward here, and I went ahead and mounted all four swivels on here. I'm not real happy about it. I'm thinking it's going to give me a lot of grief later on, and then I'm going to end up with four fixed. I'm going to take two back to the store and get two swivels when I get ready to build the other one. But uh, anyway, I went ahead and cut my uprights, and I thought I cut them a little short, uh, two foot overall, and then I took two inches off of two sides and left an inch and a three quarter, uh, inch and a half by inch and a half little stub here and that's to give me uh come out enough or give me an inch and a half to be even with the side and that's where these are going so i uh, flipped it over i mounted these screw uh screwed these wheels on and what i used is some uh timber locks i've never used these before they're expensive uh come 12 these are two and a half inch, 12 screws to a box. I think that was like six bucks. But they're made to screw ledger boards and stuff onto a house. So they're pretty tough screws. Of course, I had to use washers with them because these holes are so big. And what I did, I just left, I only did three because of the way it was. I didn't want to be screwing way out here on the edge. If I tried to get the whole thing on the board, it would have been right on the edge. So. I end up just doing three. I don't think it'd be that big deal. That other ledger is going to sit right up against the bottom. So uh, we're ready to set it on the ground and put these uprights on. And I'll uh, show you how that's going to go. I bought some four inch lag screws, but I don't think I bought enough. We'll see. Now, I thought I'd show y'all how I'm going to mount these. I'm just using. Uh, three inch deck screws they got the star star head to them and uh i like these a lot better than the phillips head ones and what i'm gonna do to start with i'm just gonna i'm just gonna put one right in here I may go ahead and put both of them. I may I thought I'd put one on one side and one on the other. Put one there. I'm gonna put one on this side. This uh this post here is pretty wet. And uh, you don't want hard to split a wet one. Now these other ones are dry. They're subject to split. Well, that's how I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to go back. And I'm going to put 
hope, I hope to put some lag screws like diagonally lag screw it down uh, uh, yeah that's what I'm hoping for so I don't know how it's going to work but anyway we'll go ahead and get the, these other four on here and we'll be ready to cut some tuba sixes alright so all four of them is temporarily mounted uh, most of them are pretty sturdy. When you put the weight on it, the only thing you got to really worry about is going in back or forth. But all the weight's going to be right on the end edge. It's really going to be right here. And uh, it looks awful high. This thing's, you know, it's, it looks high, but actually it's only uh, should only be about 29 inches, actually. <laughs> It's 30, 34 inches. Now that I know it would, I wasn't thinking about the thickness of that. That's what made it 34 inches. So, what I need to do, 29 inches is the average height of a frame. This would get it up higher, make it a little easier to, to work on the bottoms, but uh, as far as, uh, been able to do anything on the inside with it, I don't know. In other words, I made this the same width as a truck frame. Hopefully it'll be stable enough. Uh, I'm gonna probably go back and put some, some uh, pieces in here to keep these squared up. And keep them from you know, going one way or the other. And then like I said, I'm gonna drill me a hole in here and probably in uh, the front, put two four inch lag screws into each one, and that should stabilize as far as movement. And then all we gotta do is put our top rail on and maybe some bracing. This thing is fairly heavy, so uh, I think it'll hold up a truck bed pretty easy. All right, guys. Well, stay tuned for more on this project, and uh, hopefully we'll get the truck bed off the truck sometime this weekend. Thanks for watching.